my channel. Happy Memorial Day. Today we're going to be making my favorite drink. All time favorite drink. Anywhere I go, I always order this. And it's a michelada. Okay, so I completely forgot to explain what a michelada is. Basically, it's like a Bloody Mary, but with beer and no vodka. And I think it tastes a thousand times better than a Bloody Mary. Okay, proceed. Um, if you party too hard yesterday, a little hungover today, it's the best drink for a hangover. That and menudo, but we're not making menudo. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so basically, micheladas are my favorite. Dodger Stadium makes the best. Disneyland makes the best. Um, I'm not going to tell you which stand makes the best michelada at Disneyland because I feel like after coronavirus, line's going to be extra long. I don't want you guys to know my secret. But I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. Uh, it's my secret recipe for Mandy's spicy micheladas. Um, this is my famous recipe. Every time we have, you know, a pool party before COVID, um, Garcia Beach Club, everyone always hounded me for a michelada. It's all fun and games until I just want to sit by the pool and relax, but I don't mind hosting. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, first things first, shout out to Eddie Boy. This is my favorite michelada cup. It's like that old school, like Mexican glass with the blue trim rim. But okay, so first, first things first, we are going to put some, oh, another shout out. We're going to put some rim paste. Shout out to Joshi, he got this from TJ for us. This is like my all time favorite thing and so addicted to it. It literally tastes like that Mexican tamarindo candy. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna rim the outer part of the glass. Okay, so we got the rim paste on the cup. I like to go, you know, the extra mile and put a little more tajin on the outer part just because I love spice and salty, sour, lemony stuff. So there's that. All right, so we got the tahini out of the way. Now we're going in with the clamato. I normally get the lemon, the limon clamato, but this one's the picante, it's so good. Um, I have a bunch of limes that can make it extra lemony. So I'm just gonna like dump measure it. I don't really know like exact measurements. Um, so here we go. about right I don't want it too clamato -y because I'm gonna be adding a bunch of other stuff chamoy so good I don't even know how to describe it it's like another Mexican candy in a bottle basically we wanted a little salty a little sweet so I just put a little bit of chamoy and then next thing we're gonna add a little more saltiness to balance out that sweetness a little bit of Worcestershire sauce Steak sauce, perfect for micheladas. Oops. Oops. Couple dashes of that. Um, a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Get these out of the way. And then we are going to add the spice factor. Tabasco. I like it extra spicy. <laughs> Tapatio. This is like my all time favorite salsa. Okay. And then we're getting close to the end, guys. A bunch of lime juice. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough. Um, room for my beer in here because we're still going to add the ice but all right I don't know how many limes I like it super limey we're just going to keep on going we'll use two we'll use three halves of lime so far I'm going to get like a little spoon to like taste it all right so See what else it means. A little more lime. It's good though. More lime juice. Cause I like it extra limey. <coughs> it's 
little, it's a little spicy. Okay, you know what? It's not that spicy. I need it a little more spicy. A little more. A little more Tabasco. And now we stir. We're gonna add some ice. That wasn't very slick. Okay, let me just give it a little taste. Mm. Good, spicy, lemony. Mm. I'm sure you guys are thinking this is a basic, typical spicy michelada, but I'm about to change your lives right now. If you're not 21 years old, you shouldn't be watching this. Um, I just thought I'd throw that out there. You can't drink this, not yet, but I mean, save this for a future reference. I don't know. Boom! <laughs> Golden Road Spicy Mango Cart. Mango Cart with the kick. It's is like the best thing I've ever found at my local grocery store. It's so good. All right, I just go. Yeah, so it's like it's like a mango cart, but it has a little kick. But with this recipe, it's gonna be delicious. It's like, but it's just such a refreshing sound. We're just gonna give it one little stir. So that all of the mixture can mix with the beer. And then we garnish because at the Garcia household we are fancy. We're going to garnish it with a candied mango with a lime. Oh my god, it's... Mm. It's good. Woo! That's really good. Cheers, everyone. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys try this recipe at home. Um, if you want, you can just make the mix and just, like, save it in a mason jar and just, like, have it on deck because I'm telling you, everyone used to come over and just be like, make me meet you on And I'm just like, uh, okay. So I have prepped it just for people who want to meet you um, but yeah, if you guys do go ahead and make this recipe, comment in my video below, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and um, follow me on social media at Amanda Celeste on Instagram and Twitter. Um, you guys have a happy and safe Memorial Day, and I hope to talk to you guys very soon, okay? Have a good one. Bye. Hey guys! <laughs> Literally, spots of Tapatio. So we're gonna add some ice. Woo. Boom! Oh. And then we're just gonna pour it on. Oh my gosh, is it frozen? It's frozen.